Welcome back to another drum magazine groove analysis drum lesson. I'm Nate Brown. In this drum lesson, I'm going to be going over some of the pieces from the July 2012 issue of Drum Magazine. In this drum lesson, I'm going to be making what's probably a pretty unusual comparison between Mike Portnoy's Adrenaline Mob and Butch Vick's Garbage. Now, of course, the two groups play very different styles of music, but the drum techniques used in these songs are very similar and can be used in a lot of different styles. Both of those songs use the open hi-hat technique to completely change the feel of the rhythm. Before I get into the examples in the song, let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to play a basic four in the floor beat, uh, two and four in the snare. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that beat has a particular feel to it. If I open the hi-hat on all the ands, it really changes the rhythm. So I'll play it regular and then move it. Now open. Now that's a very basic example, so hopefully you can hear the difference the open hi-hat makes in the rhythm, in the feel of the rhythm. Mike Portnoy does this technique in the song Undaunted. And if you have Drum Magazine, look at page 41. Third line down, I'm going to play this rhythm from the first and second measure. I'll play it for you first, and then I'll talk about it. And that's a really cool, powerful, and mean-sounding groove. And by opening the hi-hat on the ands, it gives it an up-tempo feel. Let me show you what it sounds like without the open hi-hat. So hopefully you can hear the difference. Even though it's essentially the same rhythm, just by opening that hi-hat, it really changes the feel of the groove. For those of you having trouble concentrating on opening the hi-hat on the ands, uh, one technique you can do, and this is what I do, I, I think one, two, three, four. I'm not thinking of lifting my foot on the ands. I'm thinking of closing the hi-hat on the one, two, three, four. And when I do that, automatically it's open on the ends. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Now I know it looks easy. It's going to take some time to get used to, especially when you're listening to that and. So take it slow and work on that until you can do it without even thinking about it. Turn over to page 52 of the July 2012 issue of Drum Magazine. Take a look at Blood for Poppies from Garbage. I'm looking specifically at the second line, this rhythm written on the second line. You're going to see that there's an open hi-hat technique there as well. Now here, instead of opening the hi-hat on all the ands like Mike Portnoy did, this is going to open it on the one and and the three and. Let me play this rhythm for you so you can hear what it sounds like. When you have two open hi-hats in a row like this, you can close it in between each one. In this case, it's just left open, loose. Now again, I'm trying to point out the difference that the open hi-hat makes, so I'm going to play this rhythm without the open hi-hat. So you can see something as simple as introducing a new sound like the open hi-hat can really change the feel of the rhythm. And I want you to explore that with beats that you play. Now everybody has this beat that the, they sit down and play, the first beat that they always play, your beat. Try adding some open hi-hat to that. So if you sit down and play whatever. Try an open hi-hat every other measure. Or, like Mike Portnoy. So 
So I encourage you to explore your rhythms, add some open hi-hat, get creative with it. I hope this lesson has been useful to you, and uh, keep drumming. <laughs>